This is the new XGME Halo Plus. It's a fully portable, full HD projector that does an incredible job indoors, but also you can take it outdoors. With its built-in battery and LED light source, this could be the perfect projector for you to take absolutely anywhere. And as we've come to expect with XGME, it's super smart and is packed full of features. Let me tell you a little bit more about the XGME Halo Plus. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So as you've probably come to expect with XGME, the packaging of the projector is absolutely first class. It really does feel like a very premium product. And not only is the projector itself feeling good, but the packaging, the box and everything else, the whole experience is first class. When you take the projector out, I was really surprised how small this is. It is so easy to carry and it's very light. This thing is really portable and you definitely will be able to take it absolutely anywhere with you. The remote that comes with the Halo Plus is new and it's got a killer feature on it which I absolutely love and I'm going to show you and tell you about that a little bit later. So this is the package and its contents. You get the power adapter, the remote, the power brick and the comprehensive instructions. Those of you wondering how big this is, well this, this is it against the Horizon Pro 4K. It's just over 17 centimeters tall and it only weighs 1.6 kilos. Now, although this is the cheaper model, you can tell from the look, the feel, the build quality that it is just absolutely perfect. There is no expense being spared in the design and they certainly haven't skimped to try and save money. The only thing I think is missing from the pack is maybe a carry case, but that's easy for you to pick up one for yourself because you wouldn't want to damage this if you are taking it out and about with you. On the back of the projector, there are some ports. You have one HDMI, one USB, an auxiliary for headphones, and also the power button and power input. And on the top, there are just a few touch sensitive controls for up and down and also play and pause. Okay, I think it's about time we now set this projector up. And on the remote is the killer feature, which I really like. There's a little button just on the front edge, which is a slider for volume or focus. And what that means is when you have it to volume, you can operate the volume using the volume buttons. But if you slide it across to focus, then you can use the same buttons to minutely adjust the focus just to make sure it's about right for you. And that I just think is probably unnecessary, but really, really clever. As is on the bottom, you have a tripod port, but you also have this little kickstand which you can put out because that is sometimes just enough to make the projector sit in exactly the right position. That is slightly adjustable, so you don't have to have it all the way up. You can just have it out a little bit. This projector also has the same clever auto keystone and auto focus that the Horizon Pro 4K had last year. And it's simple and very, very quick to operate. So as you can see, I'm sliding here between my main screen and also my blind. And as I spin the projector around, it recognizes it's got a gyro in it. So it recognizes that it's been moved and then it will automatically send out the image to measure and then readjust to the actual screen size and avoid any obstacles. Now I did also test this outside and it worked just as well. There wasn't any difference at all. It measured it perfectly, it focused it great. I was able then just to use the precise correction just to make it as big as I possibly wanted it. And as you can see from the image, it is absolutely stunning. Not sure how many inches this is, but it's definitely over 200. Another feature which works absolutely brilliantly on this Halo Plus is the obstacle avoidance. I loved it on the Horizon 4K last year and this works just as well. It does it so quickly, it is unbelievable. Great if there's something in the way like a doorway, a lamp, that type of thing, it will automatically adjust. Now in terms of the software, this is running Android 10 and in terms of Netflix, yes, it doesn't support Netflix right out of the box. There's plenty of workarounds. I would just use a Fire Stick or plug in something else like an Apple TV into the the HDMI port, not a great deal. The Halo Plus has been measured at 900 ANSI lumens and it is quite noticeable during the day that it's not as dark or not as good a picture as something like the Horizon 4K. But when you do lower the blind, even with lights on in the room and still having some light coming through, it does a great job. There's no problem at all then. 
But obviously, as with all projectors, when it's pitch black, that is when the picture really pops off the screen. And this projector is exactly the same. The colors are bright and vivid, and the picture quality is absolutely first class. This is just 1080p, remember, just a full HD image, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. Sound quality is also pretty good. It's got the Harman Kardon speakers built in, and so it does get quite loud. So the guys from LG reached out to us and asked us to take a look at the new LG earbuds, the UFP9s. But we thought to ourselves, we're not just going to look at those, we're going to look at some of the industry's best earbuds and see how they compare against each other. So we've looked at the Bose QuietComfort, the Apple AirPods Pro and also the Sony WF-1000 Mark IVs. So anyone that thinks that this is just going to be for occasional use or outdoor use, this works perfectly as a main home theatre projector. It delivers a bright image and the sound quality is great. You also have arc support on that HDMI port, so if you want to hook this up to a surround sound system, then it will support that feature too. I'll go through some more specs in just a few moments, but one thing that I wanted just to cover off was the contrast ratio. Now, there's a scene in the Gemini Man with Will Smith where he's writing in a book, and I use that on quite a lot of my projector videos because different projectors show different amounts of detail when he's writing in that book. So I thought it would be interesting just to compare that, and as you can see here, you do get plenty of detail with this projector, and that surprised me a little bit for it being just 1080p. And then here is a picture of what I had recently on the Nebula projector, for instance. Now the real beauty with this projector is that it has got that built-in battery which will last up to two hours. In fact, I got slightly more than two hours. I got two hours and nine minutes when I had it running continuously outside. So you definitely can watch a feature film with it, but obviously you can plug it in at any point. And having it projecting onto a huge screen really does just set this to another level. And it looks, I'm sure you'll agree, absolutely fantastic. Now I haven't measured this exactly, but if I go down further into the garden and look back up, you can get an idea of how big you can get this image. It looks absolutely incredible. Let's talk now about a few other features that I really like. You do have hibernate mode, which means that you can turn the projector off, but it will boot up in literally just six seconds, or you can turn it off fully. So if we turn it off and then if I turn it on again, you can count with me one, two, three, four, five, six, on. And as you can see, it comes on. That is really handy and definitely very good for a quick startup. Now, a few other features that you'll be pleased about is that this does have motion compensation technology built in, or MEMC, and this is where extra frames can be inserted, and so therefore you'll get smoother motion in action scenes. And you also have HDR10, and again, if you're playing something which is compatible with that, you'll get the better picture. Now, despite this device being so small, you can easily hook it up to your PS5 or Xbox console and get incredible low latency when you put it into game mode. It will reduce the latency down to as low as 26.5 milliseconds. And that means gameplay is just as fun as it can be on a TV. So for those of you that want the fully immersive experience and on a big screen, well, you're going to get that with this little projector. It's quite incredible how such a tiny little device delivers such a powerful and really just fantastic image and gameplay. It is brilliant. Another thing that I really liked is you've got Chromecast built in. Because this is Android and Google set up all ready to go, you've got Chromecast, you've got the ability to use your voice to control it as well if you're into that type of thing. So this is a summary of some of the specs. The best things about this, obviously it's the picture at night, it looks absolutely fantastic, but it's the smarter things as well. Here are some of the full specs though that you can have a read through. Obviously the Keystone correction works from an angle of around 45 degrees, both vertical and horizontal horizontal and so that's a nice little feature that's wider than a lot of them which are around 30 degrees the system has two gigabytes of ram and 16 gigabytes of storage there are two five watt harman kardon speakers giving you that incredible sound and as you can see you've got the input ports there is only one hdmi but that i don't think is a big deal 
So my friends, that's it for this video. I've been mightily impressed with this little bad boy. I think it delivers an incredible picture and I love the fact that you can take it absolutely anywhere. And one thing that I didn't mention is when you take the power cable out, it doesn't noticeably dim at all. Everything that you've seen in this image today has been with no power cable plugged into it. It really is very, very impressive. I'll leave links in the description so that you can check out the latest price yourself. But thanks for watching this video as always, my friends, and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next.